Hey, good morning and welcome back. Welcome back to this um, Sensitive Superstar series. So I had a little break last week because I was doing a five day training in my Soul Confidence group and now I am back and I am so excited because doing the five day training last week has given me loads and loads that I want to share with you. So this this um, series is for you if you are a sensitive superstar who is stepping up and owning all of her gifts. So all of those amazing gifts that you have as a compassionate, um, heart-led woman. Perhaps gifts that before have seemed like a bit of a curse, um, and perhaps you're you know you've 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 had to spend some time like working on your stories and and letting go of of some of the crap that you've been carrying around. And you're probably in a place now when you're thinking, yes, you know what, I'm ready to really fully own who I am and really find a way of looking after your emotional well-being so that you are prioritizing your well-being and your happiness so that you have got so much more to give to the world around you and I mean more more to bring to your relationships more to bring to your work and therefore you can you can then have hello I've got a little visitor here this is my little boy say hello hello <laughs> you gonna blow a kiss ah uh, are you playing with dada are you playing with dada yeah? Can you play with daddy? Yeah? Can you say bye-bye? Oh, give mommy a kiss. I love you. Are you going to have fun? So just like that, <laughs> that's like an amazing example. Um, I created time this morning and I don't always have it but I, I created time this morning to get up and have some time for myself, some time to practice because my practice is so important so that I feel really on it um, and therefore like anything that happens you know in the course of my day um, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared and I'm present and I'm in the moment so when we don't really take that time to connect with ourselves and look after ourselves and set a commitment to look after ourselves so much then just becomes a problem and an issue rather than just opportunities to embrace and appreciate so over the next four days this week I want to go into a few different things I want to go into um, I really want to go into why as a sensitive woman it's it's kryptonite for you to be going it on your own and why you don't have to know what you're doing. And in fact, sometimes it's really good if you don't know what you're doing. I also wanna talk about your inner fear freaky freaks because this came up in the five day training that I did last week. Um, and I think that, that there's so many gifts that we have from things that we might perceive as negative. Um, and actually when, we, when we're in a real empowered place, we can see those things as the, as the gifts that they are. So I wanna talk a bit about that this week. Um, and I also want to share some really simple ways to connect with yourself so that you have always got that sense of communication going with yourself so you're always aware really of what you want and what you need. I really want to talk about as a sense of women why you can't go it on your own and why you don't need to and why it's really good when you don't know what it is you're doing. Because I've seen a lot of posts over the last few days, a lot, about things like um, the coaching world and um, people who have had really bad experiences working with people and there's a real kind of air of negativity about it. And I think it's really important that, that everybody is honest and Facebook is such a, a platform now for you to, to share and connect and hear and have your voice heard. And use your and use your influence for for real good, and that doesn't mean that everything has to be sugar coated, and you don't have to pretend that everything is amazing, because of course that's not the truth, um, and it's really important that there are there is opportunities for you to, for all of us to challenge, um, and make sure that things are, you know, in alignment with us. Um, perhaps it's my experience. I mean, I'm going to blog a bit around this as well. Maybe maybe I've just had a really positive experience because over the last few years of going into personal development really deeply, I've had incredible experiences. Yes, there definitely have been things that I've done that I would do differently, and perhaps decisions that I made that that didn't turn out the way that I expected them to. But um, from each and every experience that I've had. I have learned something and I have taken something on board from that and, I, and, and it's happened because I've needed to learn something from it. So I guess, 
I guess really what I'm saying is, you know, when you're, when you are a sensitive woman, the chances are you are putting in some investment into your into your well-being and into your learning and your development. So that might be that you're working with a coach. You might be doing some training. And it's I just want to say it's really, really important that you that you know exactly what it is you want and need from that, working with that person or doing that training so that you can feel that you are that you are getting what you need. Um, but also if you have an experience where it hasn't quite panned out the way you expected it to, it's a great opportunity to look at what you've learned from it. Um, and I think really for me, Facebook seems like this amazing space for us to be connected and to empower each other and to build each other up. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm big on community, like I'm massive on community. I mean, I have set up um, the Soul Confidence Tribe which is my online membership community for this reason, because I want a space where women can come together who are spiritually savvy and who want to be supported and inspired each month to connect with each other, to to support each other on each on their journeys while you are learning and developing on your own journey. Because there's so much to ha to be had when you are in a, a non judgmental space and you're able to like reach out and say, you know what. I'm feeling a bit crap about this or I'm not sure how to do this and when you've got other people who have got your back it makes such a difference so what I would say about this is make sure that you're not going on your own so find a supportive space and you can go back to any of um, the previous episodes where I've been talking about looking after your own emotional well-being make sure that whatever whatever support you have is really positive for you because quite often we can get you know that old saying, um, pain, misery loves company. So quite often you can get yourself into a space where you think you're being supported, but actually it's quite it's quite negative and it's draining you. So just ensure that whatever kind of support you're getting at the moment is really positive for you and, and it feels in alignment with you and that it feels like the kind of space that you want to hang out in. So it's really important when you are on a journey for a more peaceful and joyful life that you feel that you feel that sense of safety and non and non judgment. So find a space like that for you. Make sure that it's really filling you up and it's really inspiring you. Second of all, don't ever feel like you're going out on your own. Don't ever feel like that because that sense of me and I and just as the individual it can be so isolating and so lonely and if you you know if you work for yourself like I do it's very easy to get into that experience of like it's just me doing it it's just this it's just this it's just me it's just I but of course it's not make sure that whatever you're doing you always feel like you've got people around you who have got you and who have got your back that is so so paramount and the power of not knowing what you're doing this is incredible when you give up the the endless kind of like um like just completely um soul destroying search for perfection like wanting to know exactly how to do something before you put it out there or needing to to make sure that you look like you know it and you've got it sussed like nobody has it sussed like at all we're all just learning on the job like it's just that's just all part of the journey so make sure that if you ever get into that that perfectionist and that's one of the inner freaky freaks that, that I talk about in soul confidence you know your your inner perfectionist you know, Liz Gilbert says perfectionism is a serial killer of joy and it's spot on. Like if you want to live a joyful life, you've got to drop this perfectionist, like this per perfectionist like persona because it just doesn't work and it just it, it just blocks you from creativity and it blocks you from expression and it blocks you from love and it blocks you from abundance. So just give yourself permission to try out this week dropping waiting for a perfect time or waiting for the right time or needing to know how to do something because there is so so much happens when you just when you just try when you just put something out there when you just take imperfect action like so much rises up to support you when you when you're in alignment when you're in alignment with what it is you want and need and you do something you take some kind of action or you stop doing something that's just not working for you the universe hears that and then you will get so much back from that so yeah that's kind of where i want to where i want to start with today and over the next few days we're going to go 
look at the areas that I talked about at the start. But yeah, I really just would encourage you to, to drop any idea that, that perfectionism even exists um, and really make sure that you have got a real supportive group around you. Um, now, if you are a sensitive superstar and you are looking for a, a, like a really safe, non-judgmental environment where you can learn and develop and be supported, I would encourage you to come and check out the tribe because it's it's just the most beautiful space. Um, I get monthly experts each month who come in and share their expertise. So this, for example, this month we're looking at having a really conscious relationship. So all the resources this month and meditation um, and yoga work and challenge, the challenge that we're doing is all around you having the most intimate and abundant relationship in a really conscious way. So I'll pop the link for the tribe in here so you can check it out. Please join me over the next few days where I'm going to be talking more about your inner freaky freak and what you can learn from her and sharing some really great techniques for you to connect with your higher self in a really easy way um, that allows you to feel really guided and supported. So I'm going to send you loads of love. Have a beautiful day. Um, take care. Lots of love. Bye.